Over the past three years, we've been working super hard on a completely new breed of musical instruments. Working closely together with great artists to create the best possible product. Whether you just started making music, have been producing for years, or play live for sold out football stadiums, our instruments connect with every possible software and empower you to create music with more passion, intuition and fun. So let me introduce the instruments we've been working on so hard. WAP lets you control sounds by moving your hand closer or further away. Or just hit drums in the air. The second one is Wiggle. You can assign effects to different hand rotations. Number three is Drum. Just play different kind of drums in the air. The fourth one is pads, a credit card sized drum pad. Last but not least, scan. Just draw any pattern or line, choose your sound and just play your drawing. We also created a stripped down version of the original, making it more affordable. We'll give you the 3D print files, so you can print your own casing or just use it as this. As cliche as it might sound, but now we need you. Pledge, sponsor, donate, so we can make this happen. Our vision has been to build a musical experience that's simple and intuitive. And to do that, we had to start from the ground up. Now we've created an instrument that is smart enough to take any of those basic gestures and translate them into whatever music you want to make. This is a revolutionary idea. Traditionally, an instrument is played in one way. We've created an instrument that adapts to you and you can play however you want to. Any position, any style, any sound. I've never seen this thing before. It kind of reminds me of a space shuttle. It's beautiful. I think it, it feels, even though I don't hold instruments often, it feels really comfortable. It feels so nice, so just Beautiful. Oh, I like that. <laughs> I can play it like a guitar. Ooh. I can play it like like the keyboard that I use. It's just a good way to like get a good feel of the instrument. That's cool how you can almost barely barely touch it and kinda you still get the sound, but then the harder you do it, it's got that attack, you know. Keys is a new way to approach piano. It's a new way to engage with this instrument. There's no visual clutter. And the way that it just works with other things is just magical. When you get this thing in your hand, you plug it in, see the LEDs light up, and you see the possibility of the experience that you're about to have. No doubt, you're gonna love it. Keys is, it's a fully compliant USB MIDI device. So if you plug it into a computer, it works with any application that supports MIDI. You know, there's a lot of impressive technology inside Keys. We've added some technology that allows you to use gestures to control the keyboard. The response is immediate. And not only is the response immediate, it's visibly responsive. You wave your hand above it and it responds to you. You can actually hold your hand over one of these sensors and just by you know, moving it a little bit, you can have the keyboard start to follow your movement. So if I want to have a little bit of vibrato, you can do that just by keeping your hand over one of the sensors. If you want to swipe the keyboard to the right, you get a lower octave. You know, we've already built the GTAR and there's some really cool things we came up with in building that product, like the software and the way the content works. But what's really exciting about keys, if you want to use it with the iPhone, not only will it work with our apps, like the Play app, which will teach you how to play a song, or the Learn app, which will teach you more of like a curriculum-based approach to learning how to play keys and piano in general, but it'll also work with any application that supports core MIDI, and there's hundreds of them. And the same way with GTAR, where you know, it shows you where to place your fingers. You know, I'm trying to learn piano right now. That would be so helpful. You can put it up against your, your computer while you're making music. You can easily pick it up and hold it in your hand. It really uh, frees you up in the sense that you can have it with you all the time. You can take one keyboard and literally link it 
with another one of the same kind. It automatically pairs, it automatically connects, and if you had an app open on the iPhone, you would immediately be able to start playing. So you don't have to think about all these annoying things that you don't want to deal with the first time you use a product. I like the idea of the, thing, of the keys lighting up. It's really, really intuitive, especially for people who are just starting. The AlphaSphere allows us to express ourselves more freely through music. Catering for any style, the AlphaSphere unites inspiration with creativity, whatever your musical experience. Plug it into your computer and use our free open source software AlphaLive to map any sounds to any of the 32 pads, whether you want to play piano keys or trigger loops, vocals, modulating synths or control DJ or VJ software. The polyphonic aftertouch compatibility allows each pad to control each sound independently. The only limit is your imagination. I wanted to create a musical experience that combines the expression of a string instrument with the gratification of percussion, all mapped to a flexible system for exploring notation. I'm not a musician, but I've been able to learn how to make music. I've been able to jam with musicians, DJ and perform in front of hundreds of people. The Alphasphere has enormous potential in music education. Kids love it, and even those who have never been into making music are immediately engaged by it. In the past, I've done a lot of workshops with kids, and the first thing I noticed is that a flat keyboard with black and white notes tends to actually put them off. They feel very distanced um, from what they're trying to achieve creatively. What really appealed to me about the Alphasphere was that you don't need to know anything about music theory. It's purely a question of expression and creativity. Hello, I'm Imogen Heap and I make music, but the reason I'm here today is because I'm developing some technology to help me get closer to the music I want to make. Now, like most musicians, I often use computers when I'm composing, recording and performing, but I always feel that clicking a mouse or pressing a button, moving a fader, never really enables me to interact expressively with the sounds that I'm producing. I always wished I could control my equipment more naturally. I'm often seen flitting between various different controllers and instruments. It really needed a rethink. I needed something more intuitive. I wanted to be able to play the computer as expressively as I can play the piano for the movements that I make to be able to reflect the sound that you hear. I finally found the answer. The power of glove. Four years ago, I began an exciting project with an amazing team of scientists, engineers and artists. I joined forces with the Nerd Underworld, creating musical gloves using new sensor technology, allowing me to compose and perform music with computers in an intuitive way. We're a small team, developing this in our spare time, in our studios and bedrooms. And we've come a long way since our small beginnings, and lots of people getting really excited about what we're doing and wanting a pair of their very own but currently you'd need a small team of people to set it all up. The gloves are laced with the latest developments in high precision wearable sensor technology, tracking the motion of your hands, recognizing postures and detecting sharp movements such as drum hits. The gloves are fitted with lights and vibration motors to provide the wearer with feedback and they're completely wireless and making you free to roam. We are also developing software that enables the gloves to connect to your system, to design combinations of gestures which are unique to your particular creative application, so no one will ever use the gloves like you. The gloves can talk to anything that will listen out for MIDI or open sound control, which of course makes them great for making music. <laughs> 